Hi guys, how's it going? Um, I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to set up the Excel spreadsheet that I'm sharing with you. It's nothing fancy, it's a literally bog standard one. It works out your eBay fees for you, your PayPal fees, and then takes off any overheads from your final selling price and displays it in this green column over here. Um, so the first four things that you need to be setting up are these boxes over here. They are your PayPal fee, your PayPal fixed fee, your eBay listing fee, and your eBay final value fee. Um, the first two you really want to concentrate on are these two here. The top two is the PayPal. They very rarely tend to change unless you hit a certain amount of revenue going through PayPal and stuff like that. Uh, so for the majority of you, you want to be leaving them two like that. If you know that they're different, then please by all means change it because they're used in this cell over here. Uh, your eBay listing insertion fees. This should reflect as close as possible to what your actual insertion fee is every time you list an item. Um, now I've got a bare basic shop with 200 free listings. After my free listings I get charged 9p per listing. Um, I don't use no listing upgrades so I don't use a second category, I don't use gallery plus or anything like that. So I'm going to leave that as 9p for now, um, but obviously if you get charged 35p to list an item then change it to the 35p. The same for your final value fee, so if you're a business seller you get charged 10%, if you have a basic shop you get charged 8%, if you're a top rated seller you get charged, uh, I think it's something like 7.5% maybe, I ain't sure. Um, but yeah, basically make sure they're all set up to reflect as close as possible to your account status on both platforms. Once they're done, it's pretty straightforward. Literally entering your item name here, so we'll go with Monopoly. Entering how much you paid for the items, say we got it for 50p at a boot sale. Entering your selling price, say we sell it for £13.99 including postage of packaging. So uh, basically we sold it for £10.00 with £3.99 on top of our postage packaging. So as soon as we click out of this cell you're going to see three things happen. The eBay fee is going to change, the PayPal fees are going to change and ultimately your profit is going to change. So if I just click out quickly, as you can see it now reflects £1.21 towards eBay, 68 p towards PayPal and it's telling us we're going to make £11.61 after these fees are deducted including our initial investment. So the next thing we want to be doing is informing the spreadsheet how much we're paying for postage. So if we say £2.90 for a bog standard, Royal Mail, second class, non-signed for, click into that, you'll notice that that's now gone down to £8.71. Uh, packaging materials, so say it costs us 30p for packaging supplies, click out of that. And lastly, other costs, so ink, petrol, um, a Stamp, I don't know, but yep, enter that into this cell over here. So, say it costs us 10p in petrol to get to the parcel shop, and that's it done. In this last cell, as you can see, it's literally saying take cell D8, which is D8, our final selling price, minus C8, which is how much we paid, and E8 to I8, which are these four here. Um, and then display the sum total in this cell here. So we're going to make a pound thirty one. Um, and that's it, guys. Super easy to use. There's no logic that you've got to set up. That's already predefined in these cells here up here. Um, so yeah, that's it basically. One last thing that I've got to inform you about is I've set it to basically only do the formula on the first twenty one cells for you. Um, Obviously, you're going to have more than 21, no, sorry, not 21 cells, I think it's something like 13 cells. Either way, yeah, you're going to have more than 13 items listed. So when you get down to these cells here, what you want to be doing is, if we say we sold Monopoly again, we'll go with Monopoly. We earn our 45p again at a boot sale, we sold it for the standard 13.99. Tab over again, it cost us £2.90 to send it, 30p packaging, and let's say I walked there, so no petrol. 
as you can see the profit's not updated and neither of the ebay or paypal fees now to deal with this all you have to do is click on the cell above it with the formula in hover over that little green box that's just above my cursor now and double click it the same for all three cells and as you can see all it's pretty much done is taken the cell from uh, the formula from this cell sorry and replicated it in this cell um, and you could do that all the way down um, obviously as you can probably notice the cells ain't centered to do that we literally click on a cell click that tab there and it will automatically align it for you um, I believe you can highlight more than one yeah there you go you can highlight more than one then just click center and it will still display it there for you um, that's it guys as I said it's nice simple and easy um, be sure to check out the website over here uh, you'll probably find more downloads on there that you'll find useful um, in the future I will be adding a nice pie chart over here for you um, so you'll be able to read your total profit and your total, total overheads in one nice bar graph uh, pie chart or whatever um, I'm hopefully going to add a category drop down menu to it so you'll be able to select what your category is um and then this cell here will basically reflect your true final value fee um because obviously listing in different categories uh ebay charge different final value fees um but as i've probably said me e, me excel knowledge isn't the best in the world uh so it's still something in progress at the moment um but yeah that's it guys i hope you find it useful i hope you actually managed to make use of it and i hope i actually made sense to you um, if there's anything you don't understand then by all means please feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment section below or over on the site or on the Facebook group um, yeah if any feedback would be great as well guys so uh, yeah cheers for watching I hope you find it useful and I shall speak to you later bye